What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back in Wreckfest once again here today, back at the mightiest track of them all, the Talladega Super Speedway. And you knew we had to come here and celebrate after the real life races at Talladega just this past weekend delivered on such a grand scale. Not only great racing, some destruction, a grand flip, and a absolutely beautiful dub from my boy Brad Keselowski. We just gotta tear it down. We are off in the first race of the day, repping this new Brad Keselowski paint scheme that he took to victory lane. We're gonna pit it up against these NASCAR legends. We'll see how we do We're across the line. The race has officially begun. We started next to Matt Benedetto, who came close and he's gonna put us in the wall. A little bitter are we, Matt? Now he's memeing on me, the turn one. Classic as we get run down by Cole Custer and we're reaching new heights here at Talladega as is tradition ending up end over end in the infield after one measly corner you hate to see it well, what do we usually say you know it's going to be a good day at the races when you're already in the replay booth after one attempt and that was just an awful way to start our day to be totally frank with you but we will carry on we are in pursuit of that dub and off we go again attempt number two and do we just dispose of Matt Benedetto from the start? It may not be a bad idea if he's out to get us with his terminating style. I think we got him. That wasn't pretty, but I think we got him. We got him. Absolutely pummeled by whoever that poor soul was that happened to hit him. As uh, we're just lining him up for destruction as we line Cole Custer up with the fence and just smashed his face right in and we're gonna carry on like nothing even happened. A lot of jockeying for position around up here. This is a wild pack for being fairly single file. And oh, now they're three wide and they're gonna not like that. Get to the bottom. We have a better chance of survival down here. They're gonna take themselves out, have at it. Oh, that's like four wide almost. Oh, Cole Trickle's getting dumped. And the whole field's gonna follow their way into it. Actually, most of us got by. They're learning. Wow. Oh, Briscoe. Come on, Briscoe. You almost took Brad K out in that Logano flip. I don't need you doing that to me here today. If you could just let me by without incident, that would be great. Oh, oh, who is it? Oh, it's the Benedetto again. Oh, we got one with hydraulics. Oh, Dinah and Junior look ready to fight. Don't fall into the trap, Junior, like your dad did. There he goes. And what have you accomplished? You've both been packed. Dumb. We could really use a draft physics mod in this game for the side draft or just the turning. And that's going to be me turned. Headed into the wall. And <laughs> still wrecking it. That was a very old timey Talladega crash right there in a way and someone else piling into it 10 years after the fact. I'm just gonna let myself be run through here and I can't even do that right. Screw you, buddy. You know what you did? Oh, what a pack. Sign that man to the Packers, man. Rogers could use the help. Look at these guys. Always some random blood feud on a straightaway. I'm gonna help Michael Waldrop. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna help him turn him. Oh, I'm gonna help turn him. It's over. We'll be seeing you at the end of the race when you punch me in the mouth on pit road as they're like measuring my spoiler or whatever it is they do. And you know what? I'll take it in stride. I will take the beating. I'll take this run. I got right into the back of Benny Parsons, who was pushing Jeff Gordon while driving Jeff Gordon's car. This is the greatest game ever assembled. And this is the dumbest wreck ever assembled. What is that? Oh, I just smashed my car in on the inside. Well, I got pieces falling off of me. It was a guy, Matt. Matt, I don't need this. I don't need more from you. Matt. Oh my, who just flew over me? The 22. What is this art imitates life? Life imitates art. The 22 is flipping and we're stuck. Oh, we're done. We're stuck. It's over. Who predicted that better, iRacing or Wreckfest? I'll say iRacing, and we dumped the 22 to start this. Really, we deserve this. Then we have ourselves getting wadded up with Benny Parsons, Jeff Gordon, and the lot, and the inside wall, which we give a nice kiss to. And I do a Kevin LePage rejoin here, and Matt, <laughs> Matt DiBenedetto says, no, sir. 
That goes into the wall, and then if that wasn't enough, this certainly was. <laughs> the 22 just comes flying in from off camera. We gotta see what happened to him. You're gonna see if you can squint and see as they come into frame here. I see us. Definitely have us here. We're about to get knocked over by Matt Benedetto, and then, oh, there comes the 22 and the Snickers car getting together, and that is a tumble that he took through the grass to wind up next to us. Come on, Kyle, we will bring back the two-car tandem. I will give you a god-tier push. Don't go up. What are you doing? That This is not a god-tier push. That's a dog-tier push because you won't stay in line. And now we got roller skater boy Morgan Shepard. Morgan, get Morgan! 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 Bruh, roller skater boy, are you serious? This is the return of all the classic memes. I just got fenced by Morgan Shepard. A 150 year old man. And I've been decimated, reduced to atoms, dead. Do I even wanna look at this war crime? Well, first of all, well, don't look at that. All right, just don't look at that. Pretend that didn't happen. Now look at this. The, now open your eyes, all right? Now look at this heinous, despicable. Oh my, and what a T-bone from the 48 that lands us on our roof in the fence. Carl Edwards, eat your heart out. You've never taken a ride like that at Talladega. You wish you could. Oh, Jeff, what is that swipe, Jeff? Yeah, hold the L. You know what? Take it. I made that one just for you. We got somebody getting turned up there. Man, this track has just become a hook factory in the corners. And they're winding them up. They're blocking the track. Make a hole. There's no hole. That was Justin Allgaier. And we pummeled him. And we once again meet that dastardly inside wall. Come on. Somebody finish me off here. Oh, he got deflected. Oh, no. Somebody else got finished off instead of me. Well, this is not allowed. You know what we must do? Let's go around. Who's gonna get the big hit? Let's wait for the pack. Oh, I was gonna say, let's wait for the pack and to get deflected down the back. And we're gonna meet up with somebody. What's up, Cole? How you doing? Yeah, don't mind that I just came barreling at you from the other direction or anything. Now, who else can we, who else's day can we ruin? Take down the 43 and Junior. And we just pummel ourselves. Oh, and then Cole Trickle with a late hit after the buzzer. Well, Michael Waldrop, we'll give you that draft. That always goes oh so well. It always leads to success. And look at this. Speaking of success, Jeff Gordon and Morgan Shepard successfully taking each other out of the race once again, it seems. You bums. Oh, man. Cole Trickle just got blocked all the way down to the double yellow line. He's not happy about it. He's in trouble. Hood's flying off. And he's getting packed. Who even is that? It's Kyle Larson. Oh, at least his engine still works. He's not driving the world's fastest pizza oven around Talladega like he was for real. We got the six going around as well. That's gonna lead to trouble. Cause we definitely need more of that. Oh, there goes Jeff again and a bunch more. Oh yeah, I hate to see it. Oh, more. Parker Kligerman, William Byron, Corey LaJoy. Can we sneak up high? No, we can't. No, no, and pummeled from behind. They're gonna pile it on in. And it just will not stop until we are dead. That is the rule. All right, we gotta take a look at this again. How did this even happen? Just the three stooges in front of us cause a wreck for absolutely no reason. I mean, what other explanation can you have? And then we just get carried along like a trophy to these fools. Oh, that 48. 48 got some bop in it. Is the baby in that car? Hold on, we better not get any convertibles out here. That would be a bad time. This looking like a bad time here. Why we got so many cars all running into each other? We're getting hooked into another pile. Oh, what a terrible crash in front of us. We've been spared. Oh, no, we have not. Oh, my God. A chunk of our ass has been forcibly removed. We look like that guy from SpongeBob. Got to look at the replay of that, of course, as well. Another just random pile up incident. We skid by on our side for most of the time thinking we were in the clear and then we just were not at all. From a distance here, we will watch it come into our view and just a hellacious incident, especially for everybody else here. Let's focus on them because we got all kinds of just terrible things happening in the 22 flying and flipping once again, and he's not the only one. Ouch. Kyle, if you think about hooking me into Jeff, I'll come back. Oh, what the hell is this? What the Kyle? What is that? I'm, I'm mad. What is that? 
Why on a straight? Why you bum? I admit I half wasn't paying attention because I thought I was going to get wrecked from behind and I just... Ah, it's, that's annoying. We're going to go take somebody out. Who wants a knuckle sandwich? Who's first in line? Oh, it's a Kyle Busch car. How fitting. Kyle Busch distracts me and he gets destroyed in revenge. Kyle Busch, don't play with me right now, bro. Don't make me teach another lesson here. And we got to teach some lessons to these guys on how to get through a corner without dying and packing each other. And almost taking me out with massive pack shots into the corner like that. We're not gonna survive. Come on, Dale Jr., let me buy. Oh, who's that? Parker Clickerman's turned to somebody. Matt Kenseth. And Briscoe! Briscoe, no! Briscoe, you should have held the car up. I don't care what sacrifice you have to make. Hold the car up! I should have held the car down. See, people make mistakes. Up! Oh! And we have actually ended up not too bad off. If I can whip this thing around, I'm kind of right in the racing lane. I do need to get a move on. Come on. Come on. Just keep it up high. We'll be fine. Oh, come on, Morgan. Gotta tip me into a pack. From KC Mears, the atomic ass pack. Well, either you love to see it or you hate to see it, depending on who you are. We get taken down to the bottom of the track by Briscoe as he's out of control. And then after another LePage rejoin, we get what we deserve and go tumbling down the backstretch. We're then clipped a couple more times. And while we line it up, Morgan Shepard tips us into the lane where Casey Mears then cleans us up. And I am considering this an act of war from Morgan Shepard. Oh, what is that? Can't even get off the line. We're getting worse. This is, this is just degeneracy. Okay, what the hell? I think I just got sniped at. What, the, what is this pattern of the glass breakage? I smacked the wall. What in the world is going on? Now I'm getting shoved in the wall by Jeff Gordon. What else is new? Yeah, go take out Matt Benedetto. Just get, all, get rid of all the weapons. This is the most highly skilled and trained set of AI I think I've ever seen. They just cannot even manage to get through a single corner without somebody hooking somebody else and causing a big one like this, where they block the track again. Just stop it. And they kind of fold themselves out of the way for me. We somewhat got through that. I'm calling that a getaway. We're out. Kyle Lars. Oh, what in the hell is going on here? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Just keep your foot in it. Ask questions later. Ah, to second place. With the closest call of my life. We got to get this dub. We have one lap and William Byron in our way. NASCAR Cup Series winner, Bill Byron. Bill putting himself on the wall. Giving us chances. Oh, if he gives me a look, do I take the shot? Do I take the shot? We have a clear shot. I'm putting him into the infield. Oh, and he hit the car that almost hit us. We take the lead in dastardly fashion. One more set of corners to go and a try over. And we can be victors if we can hold off Juan Pablo Montoya and the gang behind us. And we've got somebody slow in front of us. Can we get around him? It's Mago Waldrip. Will he play? Oh, he roadblocks the field. And Michael Walter with the assist right at the end will give us the clean and green finish we need to score the dub at Talladega once again. Boy, does it feel good. We got to take a look at our standings here. We did not have the fastest lap, but we reigned supreme over the rest at last. Well, we get another Talladega trophy to take back to our cabinet of race riches. And we will take it gladly because we did not get there cleanly. That is for sure. Absolutely dominated at some points. And here you'll see another angle of this close call that we somehow kind of drove through the middle of and kept our foot in it to keep up. Then we have ourselves coming down the back stretch and the two and the eight were just stopped leading to probably the closest call in channel history. Can I get a code brown new fire suit on the next pit stop after that one? Then we take that hard charge to second. 
Then on the final lap, halfway down the backstretch, the villainy comes out as we send William Byron into the crash cars in the infield and we make our way to the victory. So that will be where we wrap things up today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this return to some classic Talladega, some tumble-filled Talladega. That was a wild one. And if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for me. It helps me out a ton. Let me know what else you want to see in the future down in the comments below. Hit me with your funniest joke, your memes, whatever you got for me. And with that, I will see you in the next one.